Hello Pre-Calculus students, this is Mr. McAllen again and we're on the second video. We're going to work on the second objective. This should go really quick for this video. What we're trying to do is we're trying to equate the um, annual percentage yield of your investment um, so that it makes it easier to understand if you were doing things with simple interest, um, how would you equate the different compounding cycles to a simple interest formula. So. What we do in this case, we're going to consider the same sort of example we had before. We have Robert investing his $500 again, familiar problem that we just did. And uh, he invests at 4% interest compounded monthly. So we set up two sides of the equation. We set up on one side, we know we have the $500 and we're investing it, uh, we're going to say at one plus, let's just call it a rate, um, which we don't know yet. That will be our annual percentage yield and it's going to be uh, for one year. And then we look and see how does that uh, translate to $500 if we invest it at 4%. Um, so we're going to write out the you know P1 plus R over N to the NT equation. And we're going to solve for the rate on the other side. And that will tell us what our simple interest rate would be. And that would be what we call our annual percentage yield. So let me just show you how this is done. So we're going to put in um, for the rate 0 0.04. We're compounding 12 times per year. So we're going to have 12 times up here and 1 for the year. So what happens is, is when we do the math, notice the 500 just cancels out. It just divides away. Now we just have 1 plus our simple interest rate. How does that connect with um, 1 plus... I have to figure out what 0.04 divided by 12 is. So let me just pause to do that on the calculator. Okay, so I'm back. And uh, 0.04 divided by 12 is 0.0033. So um, raise the 12th power. I don't know if you can see that. Let me just erase this. Okay, so, um, so now I have 1 plus the rate is equal to 1.0333 repeating raised to the 12th power. So now I'm going to raise that to the 12th power. So I have 1.0, oh, there should be an extra zero here, 1.0033 repeating raised to the 12th power is going to give me um, 1.0407, so this will be 1 plus r equals 1.0407, let's just round it off to 4, and now that tells me that my uh, effective annual percentage yield, now annual percentage yield again is simple interest, if I subtract 1 from both sides, I'm going to get my r value to be 0.04074. So this tells me that my interest rate, because of this extra compounding, is actually, um, you know, it's compounded monthly, is actually 4.074%. So I'm getting a little bit more interest because of the extra compounding. It doesn't seem like a lot, but it is more, and it does equate to more money if you can get the 4% compounded monthly as opposed to just compounded once per year. So let's look at another example. What would happen if we compared it to continuous compounding? What is the greatest amount of interest we can get um, from compounding? Because when we compound continuously, it means we're letting n, the number of compounding cycles, be driven to infinite number. So I'm going to write 1 plus my annual percentage rate is equal to 1 plus, um, actually, let me consider this for a minute. This would be 500. This uh, would be 500. The PERT equation is like it's, remember the PERT equation is the amount is equal to the principal e to the RT. So I'd have to put e to the <clears throat> R would be uh, 0 0.04 and T would be equal to 1. So I'm just going to put a 1 there. So when I divide out the 500, I again have 1 plus my APY, my annual percentage yield rate, is equal to E to the 0 0.04. So on the calculator, let's see what that equates to. 
um, I'm going to shift the natural logarithm so I get to E, put in 0 0.04, and that tells me that I have 1.4081. So my 1 plus R is equal to 1.04081. So in this case, we can see that compounding continuously results in, uh, for 4% interest compounding continuously, is really just giving us a 4.081% interest rate. So the best we could do on compounding at 4%, if we compound continuously, is getting uh, another 0.081 uh, percentage added to our interest rate. Hopefully this helps you understand what APY is, and, um, and that will um, help you understand um, how to consider different compounding um, amounts uh, and how that equates to what the simple interest uh, would be to get that compounding amount.